So it's a rainy morning here in Tampa. I think it's supposed to rain all day. So I guess I'm stuck inside. And subsequently I've been on YouTube quite a bit this morning for a couple hours now. And there seems to be a really common trend of people doing um, like their own kind of rewinds and talking about the things they've done over the year and stuff. Uh, which can be interesting if I'm really into a creator, but generally I don't really care for that stuff. So I figured I'd do, I'd take that and and change it up a little bit. So rather than talking about what I've done this year, the content that I've made this year, I would share with you guys my favorite creators from 2019. So these are no particular order, just a handful um, that really stood out to me. The first of which is Orton Hilmer, who is, I believe he's Danish, but he's a professional wildlife photographer. And all the time he's going on solo and group expeditions to like strange and interesting places and he puts a lot of effort into his videos and they're just really gorgeous and of course he's a wonderful photographer as well but he makes really good really really high quality videos and content it's really calm and chill and relaxing it's almost like asmr for photographers and when i was um, a teenager i was really into photography wildlife photography especially and i'm still um into photography as well so he's kind of living my dream and it's really interesting and fun to watch all of the effort and and planning and logistics that go into being a professional wildlife photographer and flying all over the world and to do that kind of stuff so really interesting the next one is peter shreeple and he just really speaks to like the 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 goofy teenager in me and he's most of his content surrounds like funny, silly DIY tech stuff. Like he made a flying Roomba just because and making weird stuff fly like um, leaf blowers and stuff. It's really funny and it's very like, um, you know, nonchalant and just, just kind of goofing around. And it's really funny and also really interesting the like kind of ingenuity he employs sometimes. So it's, a, it's always a good time. Another channel is, or person I should say, is Gus Johnson. So Gus, um, if you're not familiar with him, he's kind of blown up in the last year, I think. But he makes short comedy clips. Sometimes they're really short, like a minute or two. Sometimes they're a little bit longer. I'm not in love with everything that he makes, but some of the stuff he makes is just hilarious. And I, I laugh until it hurts. And it's it's really creative and interesting. I'm, I've always been a really big fan of the, the comedy channels on YouTube, especially ones that do like ultra low budget stuff. And the fact that it's low budget makes it even funnier. I don't know, but I, uh, I enjoy most of his content. Another channel, and again, a person I should say is Billy Yang, who makes really high quality um, documentaries, most of which are about uh, running ultra marathons and ultra marathoners. And he's, he's like a one man band and he makes really top tier documentaries and content. It's really interesting. And he is one of the reasons, um, one that I decided to do an ultra marathon before I turned 30. And also is also the reason why I decided to uh, make a documentary about it and, and film my experience of, of training for one and preparing for one and all of this other stuff beginning to end. So he, he's been a big, um, inspiration to me within the last six months because I've been preparing for my ultra marathon f three or four months now so another person I've been really into is Tom Scott he makes informational videos that are usually pretty short as well um, they're, they're usually like five to eight minutes and they're really informational and Tom's a really good writer and he does all kinds of random stuff he'll do stuff about interesting um, geographical things like that weird river in Scotland that kills people all the time or whatever but like the steepest road in the world and what makes it the steepest road and and all these other kinds of things that are really strange that you probably never heard of and then he goes to these places and interviews people and gets information and compacts it really well into a, a sub 10 minute video and he's also blown up in the last year which I'm really glad for because he deserves every bit of it I think and lastly is a channel made by a wild Canadian and he just goes by his channel name which is AVE and he is I'm not really sure what he is or what he does I'm pretty sure he's uh, an engineer of some type of petroleum engineer or something he's clearly very well educated but he makes really goofy um, and informational videos like he does a series called Bolter which is bored of 
uh, lame tool review so he takes tools and takes them apart and reviews them very thoroughly in a way that only like someone with a lifetime of experience and a lot of education can speak to so it's really informational but it's also really funny because he has kind of his own vocabulary that he uses for things and at first it's kind of hard to understand what he means but after you watch it and you get enough contextual information you can understand what he means when he says chooch or pixies or all this other funny stuff but if you're interested in, in learning more about things like I don't know diesel engines and you want to hear it from a really funny Canadian dude then it might be right up your alley so those are the channels that really stood out to me there's obviously a ton more but those are the ones that I found particularly interesting or, or inspiring in one way or another so anyways I hope your day is good thanks for watching see you later